wise up and resist hate speech. Deuteronomy. Many quote from Deuteronomy as a hateful homophobic attack. It's an own goal. Deuteronomy describes a barbaric God commanding his chosen people to do barbaric things. Deuteronomy says that as God's chosen people made their way to Canaan, God provoked conflict with one country after another and commanded his chosen people to commit genocide, destroying every man, woman and child that lived within each country until there was no one left. Deuteronomy commands that if your wife, your child, your brother or your friend suggests that you should change your faith, you are to stone them to death. Deuteronomy says if you go to war and capture a beautiful woman, you can force her to shave her head, then have sex with her. And if you decide you don't like her after all, you just send her away. Deuteronomy says if you have a rebellious son, then you must gather all the men of the community and stone him to death. Deuteronomy says that if a wife can't prove that she's a virgin after the wedding, then all of the community must gather and stone her to death. And if she actually is a virgin and can prove it, but the husband decides he doesn't like her anymore, he can just send her away anyway. Deuteronomy says that if a woman who's pledged to be married is raped by another man and her screams are not heard, then she must be stoned to death. Deuteronomy says that if a woman intervenes to help her husband in a fight, then her hand must be cut off. This is the horrific, unconscionable book that homophobes quote from as having relevance for our world today. They do so because it expresses their own bigotry and prejudice. When they do so, challenge them. That Deuteronomy describes God as a war criminal, God's people as merciless killers, and God's chosen men as abusers of women. And that no loving, godly person should ever be quoting from it.